Good morning my friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming from Palomino, a small town on the northern coast of Colombia and I'm very excited because I'll be filming my entire day to show you guys how it looks like to uh, live as a digital nomad in this place. So if you're interested, keep watching this video. I'm literally just walking up and I'm already so sweaty. <laughs> it's really hot and humid here. I have this thingy for the air conditioning, but it's very, very noisy, so I always turn it off at night. But yeah, when I wake up in the morning, it's, it's pretty hot. This is the room I got for these two weeks here at Selena Palomino, as always, is pretty nice. It's not very big, uh, but it's cozy and there's really all I need. So funny, a couple of nights ago I was trying to go to sleep, I just tried to close the window and this happened. <laughs> it came off the thingy and now I don't know how to put it back on. <laughs> so I'm just staying with the window open all the time. Oopsie! And right outside of my room there's this uh, little balcony with a very nice view over the entire hostel. So here on this side you can see the restaurant slash bar where I normally spend most of the day both because I eat a lot but also because I work there. Then these are the stairs that take you to the yoga deck uh, where there's yoga classes every single morning and of course if you want to work out on your own or do something else during the day it's always accessible and there's a lot of mats. And right behind here there's the beach which I think is one of the best things about this Selena hostel. It's like really great location. While on this other side, that's where the pool is and, uh, and also the shared kitchen that everyone can use if they feel like cooking. So a lot of people ask me why I decided to come to Palomino, Colombia and actually uh, yeah, I didn't really pick the specific place but here's how it happened. So I applied for a program that is called Selena Film Residency Program. Selena is the name of the hostel chain where I'm staying at the moment and where I've stayed for most of my travels in the past five months and um, it's really cool especially if you're into photography, videography, content creation. Um, so if you apply and you get accepted into it uh, they'll send you to one of their locations they'll give you a free stay free food in exchange for content in my case I did the two weeks program um, so I got two weeks of accommodation and food and uh, in exchange I will have to deliver a YouTube video and uh, a couple of reels for their Instagram page there's actually a lot of specific requirements they have to be very professional uh, follow all the brand guidelines like it's not very easy. I've been working pretty hard to film everything I could in these days. There's a lot of things you need to take into account but if you're into these kind of things I think it's really fun. I'm actually having a great time here and I can't wait to show you what I've been creating in these days. And because today I'm feeling a little bit homesick I ordered some <laughs> linguine carbonara for lunch. Of course with chicken because why not? Like, I'll never understand the urge of any restaurant outside of Italy to put chicken on any kind of pasta and pizza. Like, I don't know why. Why would you put chicken? Like, it's everywhere. <laughs> anyway, I'm starving, so let's go see how it tastes. Today is my chill day because yesterday I have submitted all the videos I've created to the director of the program. Yeah, I'm just waiting for his feedback and today I just took it as a day to relax and read. I'm currently reading Atomic Habits uh, by James Clear and I think it's really like the book I need to read right now because I feel like there's a lot of changes I should start implementing in my life. There's a lot of things I've been wanting to incorporate in my routine for a very long time but because I'm traveling I'm always struggling with 
in general creating habits because every day is different or at least when I change from one place to the other all my habits my routine get disrupted and I think especially in terms of living a healthy lifestyle it's really hard for me uh, like eating healthy food drinking more water exercising moving my body sleeping well yeah it's something that I'm really trying to improve on and this book I'm still at the beginning but I really think it's very insightful and hopefully it's gonna help me to improve my life Actually, there's also another habit that I'm trying to incorporate more into my routine, which is journaling. I think it's really important, especially in this period of my life, because I feel like I'm really changing a lot. I've got a lot going on in my mind and like thinking about the future, making plans. Uh, I've got a lot of ideas, a lot of fears, and uh, I think it's just it just feels so good to let it all go out and like put it into paper and taking that uh, perspective when you read it afterwards and it's just interesting to look back at what I was thinking about what I was dreaming of just a few months ago and see how much I've progressed how much I've achieved or simply how much I've changed this is the beach in front of Selena it's great for surfing, there's gonna be a big uh, surfing competition in a few days but personally I wouldn't really uh, dare <laughs> surfing because I'm, I'm still quite beginner like I, I haven't really practiced for in a long time the currents are very strong, there's a man uh, this is like very traumatic but a man drowned uh, last week in front of my friend it was quite shocking for me also because I already had thank god not that serious but I felt like I was gonna drown when I was in Costa Rica so I really don't think I'm gonna try surfing here uh, but if you know what you're doing if you're a good surfer I think it's gonna be really good fun here they have literally just finished building this wall here in front of Selena because apparently the level of the ocean has been rising a lot in the past years so even though here it used to be like a normal beach it's getting very difficult to manage and the interesting thing is that most of the people that I talked with they say they believe it's because of global warming and because like the ocean level is rising like in general um, but yeah I'm glad they managed to build this because it looks way better than when I arrived here basically uh, the center of Palomino it's this pretty long street it's called Calle Sesta and that's basically where everything is you're gonna find all the restaurants bars uh, souvenir shops grocery stores everything you're gonna need I'm here at the hotel and tonight there is a class of champeta which apparently is this dancing style very typical of the Caribbean side of Colombia so like the northern part and it's a mixture between reggaeton, reggae, afro and dancehall it's like a very unique thing and uh, I'm so excited because it's really fun I saw it last week and this week I really want to practice properly because then I'm gonna go dance with my friends here <laughs> We are here with the best dancer of Palomino. Chosne, let us see what you do. <laughs> Tonight there is a party here on the beach which is supposed to be very fun with a local famous DJ. Um, my friends and the dancing teacher are going but I'm not sure because then they're not gonna come back here to Selena. They're actually um, staying at other places so I wouldn't really like to walk by myself all the way here and uh, also like I don't really know many trusted taxis because there's no official taxis 
here. So because, yeah, because I don't have friends going to the party that are also staying here at City now, I don't think I'm going. Um, so yeah, this is something that I don't really like about South America is that safety is always something that you need to be taking into account before going out at night. Like during the day, I would never really think about that unless I'm in a big city with dangerous neighborhoods like normally here everywhere is fine but at night if you're on your own and you want to go partying or you just want to stay up until late you always need to think about it and you know figure out if it's gonna be safe or not so yeah this is one of these nights I mean I don't really mind staying at home I just want to relax and just watch some videos or read it's gonna be fine but you know uh, it would have been fun also going to the party for sure I'm gonna go next time so yeah that's the end of today's vlog hope you enjoyed Enjoyed this day in my life as a digital nomad in Colombia. Remember to like, subscribe, do all the fun stuff and I'll see you in the next video.